In this video, we look at the Level Lock, an invisible HomeKit enabled smart lock. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. So I recently got the level lock in and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this because what this does is it installs seamlessly using your already existing deadbolt hardware that's currently on your door. So this is going to be great for those that are in apartments, people who like their existing lock setup, people who want to keep the same keys and just really not change anything but at the same time add a whole bunch of smarts to their existing lock. So I'm gonna show you how all this works. The first thing that I noticed was just how small the box was. There just isn't a whole lot of stuff in here because you're using the hardware that's already on your door. The only thing you're replacing is the internal components. So inside the box, you have a quick start guide. You also have a list of everything included. So the installation is pretty simple. I mean, it's about as simple as it gets. So here is the internal mechanism for the level lock. And this is a powerful six stage stainless steel gearbox. So you're gonna have enough power to extend that deadbolt and to retract the deadbolt. Now, what's interesting about the engineering of the level lock is that it uses this puzzle piece design. So the deadbolt, which is right here, this connects to the gearbox using that puzzle piece design. And I'll show you how that all connects here in just a second. Now you also have a strike plate included, so you can install that. And then you'll find three different tailpiece adapters. You're only going to use one of these to accommodate the current lock on your door. And you also have screws, one for the strike plate and also one for the deadbolt. And then you have a lithium battery, a CR2 battery. And this battery should last for about a year. And all you do is install it in the deadbolt itself. So it just pops off like that. Put the battery in. It's actually magnetic. So the battery just sort of sticks in there and then you just screw it in like this. Now you can do this after the installation. I just wanted to show you how it all comes together beforehand. Now that puzzle piece design here, notice this, you see the electrical contacts, those connect things to the puzzle piece design just slides right in and stays in securely. There's also a little screw on the other side to keep it secure as well. So you just want to tighten that screw once you're ready to go. Now you want to compare your existing lock to decide which tailpiece adapter you need to use but there's only three to choose from, so it's pretty easy to compare. So there you go, that's the final setup, and that's basically what you're gonna be installing in your door. All right, so let's actually go ahead and go through this process now. So I have this deadbolt set up here on my door, and before you install, you do wanna make sure that the lock locks and unlocks without having to press on the door with your hand. That ensures a smooth install. So the remarkable thing about the level lock is that I'm still able to use this hardware. So I'm able to use the same keys, I'm able to use the same thumb turn on the inside of the door as well. All I'm really replacing are the internal components along with the deadbolt. So I'm keeping this thumb turn along with the outside hardware that utilizes the key. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the installation of the level lock. So the first thing we wanna do is just to remove the existing lock. So I'm just gonna take these screws off. All right, there's one. Let's grab this second one, I've sped it up a little bit. All right, so you wanna make sure you hold the other side so it doesn't fall and hit the ground. And then you can just remove the lock just like that. All right, so all that remains is the internal little mechanism there and also the deadbolt itself. So it's just a matter of unscrewing the deadbolt the little plate that holds the deadbolt into place and removing that internal component right here. So we're gonna replace this guy there. All right, so let's grab our screwdriver again and just unscrew. And we'll do this one down here. All right, so just slide out. Just like that. So this is the component that we're replacing with the level lock. So the level lock replaces that component. So now we'll go ahead and install the level lock in its place. So you can see that says top. So you wanna make sure you put it in like that. There we go. So that's the first component, the deadbolt itself. And you can see the contacts there with the puzzle piece interface for connecting the gearbox. So we're just gonna slide the gearbox into place 
and just give it a little push and it'll snap right into place there. So now on the opposite side, you wanna just use a little screw to screw it into place and secure it down. So there you go. So that's pretty much the most difficult part of this whole installation. All right, so now what we wanna do, I'm gonna pop that tailpiece out because we need to choose the right tailpiece. I had it in there from earlier. So you can just compare your existing lock there and determine which tailpiece that you need to use. In this case, I'm gonna need this one. So just slide it into place. It's notched, so it's super easy to do. Put your lock in place just to make sure it looks right. And if so, you can remove it and then secure down the level lock. So there we go. All right, so now we can go ahead and put the locks back on. Just like we took them off, same basic principle. Just put them back on, make sure they are straight. Make sure they line up. And then you just wanna use the screws that we removed previously, put those back on and screw them into place. All right, and that's it folks. Now we have the hard part done. Everything's installed except for the battery. So we still have to do that. So I'll show you that in just a second. But as you can see, super simple. The thumb turn works just as expected. Keys work just as expected. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this thing. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is install the strike plate. And I have one that's old and crusty here, so I'm just gonna remove that one real quick. And this is actually a new door. I still need to get it painted. All right, so we have our screws there. Yeah, two screws for the strike plate, two screws for the level lock. I already just reused the screws I already had for the level lock, but I will be using the new screws for the strike plate. So there we go. So now just test out the lock, make sure it locks smoothly, make sure you don't have to hold your hand up against the door to allow it to lock. So you wanna just make sure it locks just by turning the thumb turn. So now unscrew the battery compartment in the deadbolt and put in the battery. Just like this, it's magnetic so it sticks in there. And just screw it back in. And once you do, you'll hear a little chime like this indicating that everything is connected and functioning properly. So folks, that really is the entire installation as far as hardware is concerned. We still have some software components to look at, but that's pretty much it. I'm confident I could do this in 10 minutes or less if I really set my mind to it. All right, so now you wanna download the Level Home app. Make sure you enable Bluetooth access and you just go through there and get that all set up. You're gonna to need to sign up if you wanna use the Level Home app and create your account, I've already done so. Now, it's just about adding a lock and it'll walk you through the installation as well, but I'm pairing my lock and there it goes, automatically recognizes it. Add a location, give it a name and your lock is connected just like that. So it's gonna ask on the first initial setup to update the firmware most likely so I'm gonna do that. This does take a little bit of time and you can also set up home kit there. I'll do that in just a second. But to unlock or lock, just tap and hold the location and it unlocks just like that. Super simple, super easy. And what I like is that it gives you a handy log of all the activity for all the people who have access to the lock. Okay, so now I'm gonna let you guys hear how it sounds when the door is unlocked. So let's turn it up a little bit. There you go. So there's other options in here as well. And you can see the, the ledger of unlocks and locks there. So there you go again. So inside the ledger app, there are other options. You can set up auto lock functionality. You can add a new lock, of course, have multiple locks to control. I'm gonna go down to the uh, settings options here. You can change the name. Here's auto lock settings. So after 30 seconds, it will auto lock. You can also check battery status, firmware status. You can adjust the sound or the, uh, the volume of the chime that occurs when unlocking or locking. Of course, you also have the ability to set up additional users and you can also set up passes. Now these passes are temporary that allow individuals to be invited to access your lock when you're away, for instance. And there goes the auto lock. So I can set up my pass, the location, the duration, 
give the pass a name. So I'm going to say cat sitter here, and then I can share that with my cat sitter and give them access to my back door. Super simple, super easy. But really the cool thing about the level lock is that it has home kit functionality built in. So it has the little home kit code. You just add that setup code and then it'll add your level lock. Go ahead and set it up through home kit and you have all the home kit functionality you would expect. So you can unlock or lock with Siri. You can set up automation, group with other devices. And the really cool thing is that you are basically giving your regular lock home kit support via the level lock. It's invisible virtually. No one even knows you have a level lock installed unless they see the little level lock logo on the deadbolt, which no one's paying attention to anyway. So it just looks super low key. So this can be nice for renters who don't have the option of changing out the locks entirely. Now, as I use the level lock, I'll be following up with more thoughts, but first impressions are very positive. That all being said, I will be sticking with my Yale Assure Lock SL because I love having a keypad because I just hate the idea of carrying around keys. But the fact that you can use a key with this thing means that if the battery dies, for instance, you still have a backup that's built right in. So that's right there, super handy. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you guys think about the level lock? You can get it for $229 and I'll have a link down in the description. Leave me a thumbs up if you appreciate this video and also just let me know what you think about HomeKit locks in general. Do you have one? Would you consider the level lock? Let me know. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.